23rd, 2020. Thanks for bearing with us. Uh, Jeffrey, go ahead. Uh, adjustments to the agenda. Um, I would, I would like to add, maybe we can do it in the beginning here, closing of town hall reconsideration. People okay with discussing it again? I do, but uh, I just want to set the only time that we can legally change the agenda is in this window and then maybe bring up the subjects. Uh, any other adjustments to the agenda? Okay. Did the last day police had a memo that I or an email that I put in the packet? Just have that to the discussion. Okay, VSP email. And the warning. The warning. For, for yeah. I guess there was a right an error an error in the newspaper, and it looks like so we'll bring that up. Uh, so warning. And this is kind of a tangent. Maybe maybe too many other things. And talk about this, but it had been approved to install the filters prior to the rather I don't know if we'll say Gosh, I thought we did, no? I thought, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, first one up, uh, closing of town hall. So the latest from this weekend was limiting it. <clears throat> Governor Scotland uh, is saying meetings no more than 10. That there can be no more than 10 pe people meeting in the same space. Um, so that means if, I mean, we're going to go virtual. I'm going to propose we go virtual after today. So there will only be Dean and one other person. That's room for eight people of the public. But I'd also like signs saying if you don't need to be here, please consider helping your community and not attending, you know, attending online. Instead of in the building. Yes. Dying up. I'm younger. That's a good idea to have an unofficial meeting where it's not a select board meeting. We're just we can call and talk about our favorite recipe. Yeah. It's not that hard. Um, I also have an uncle who can remotely help. He, he actually teaches Zoom. So he's down in, yeah, he's, uh, he's down in Maryland, but he's a phone call away. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, okay, so the closing of town hall. I, you know, we've waited. <clears throat> Things are getting more severe. Uh, I would like to propose closing town hall by appointment only, and having that small inconvenience be for Mary and Christina to just have to open the door for people when they come in. Um, 
Um, I think we had a pretty exhaustive discussion about it, but since then, over 100 million Americans are being told not to leave their homes unless it's for food or medicine. I think, yeah, the. I'm okay with that. I'm just a little concerned that Mary is not here. Because I know she's a small state. I didn't do a lot of healing. I should help her out. But she, she could be here. She could have stayed. I told her we'd be bringing this up. Uh, we, we said at the last meeting that we were going to reevaluate tonight. And we did say that we would revisit it. Because I just want to make sure. She sent me an. Oops, she sent me an email. I could read it. But. Hi, Matt. I will not be at the meeting tonight. If you need something specific from me, you can reach me by phone. I don't know why at this point we would be discussing the contract with CBSD. Since to my knowledge, we have had no further discussions with Gene Jackson, and there are no elections coming up for a while that we need to worry about. I would not be in favor of spending money for school security, as you already know. It was further proven at town. Uh, meeting Josh had quite and complete control over our space, and he actually had to go outside and straighten out the mess that the security was causing with their so called traffic control. I don't think we have ever had a problem with people exiting the parking lot uh, by way of the entrance ramp, but we surely did that day. Not something we should be paying for. Hey, Matt, looking at the agenda for Monday, and there certainly seems to be a large number of non essential topics. Do you guys really need to do this now? After, After our discussions of keeping people at a town hall as much as possible, we are succeeding in making that clear to people. We had seven people on Thursday and the same on Friday, and I'm pretty sure that number will decrease further to pretty much just the title searchers. I also told Christina that I think it is best to stagger our time at town hall, so only one of us is there at a time, and we will start that this week. We were able to get what anyone needed from planning and zoning, so none of the guys had to wait on anyone in person either. It seems kind of productive to then turn around and have this incredibly full agenda with all these things on it that quite frankly at this point in time aren't important and essentially open the doors to town hall to all kinds of who knows what. Please reconsider. Thanks, Mary. And I just let her know that we couldn't reconsider. This was an agenda we all came up with. Um, and uh, we'll be reassessing everything tonight. Going to be back in the I guess that be I guess okay. Okay. So this letter. Yeah. Yeah. Carrie, do you need one? Today, the death toll in Vermont is up to five and positive cases, 75. We must take every measure to prevent further spread of this virus. Yours very sincerely, Daniel Morgan, Public Health Officer. Daniel could not find a single other town or city office in the state still open to the public. The, the, yeah, the election is, I mean, Mary runs the elections, but I would suggest that 
no more than 10 people are in this building and people have to wait outside in their cars. They'll knock or there'll be a sign on the door that says, please call for permission to be let in. And then someone will have to get up and let them in. So it'll be by appointment only. You can have an appointment immediately. There's, there's no idea. Uh, Dean, I, I don't think that's entirely up to us. Well, these are, are, have we gotten guidance as far as people are going to be working remotely or they'll be coming in? Uh, they are not coming. Do they have one to each other? Um, I'm not sure why it's just echoing, but um, it's not so much more than a couple of years ago. I actually had a year or two in the end. I have not done that. We could look at it. Saying out outside of the office? Yes, like without computer or without the extra. I say without computer, that would be really hard. Um, if, we, if we allow the access and this resolves itself, we can rescind that. Rescind it. Okay. Then we've got that character. And the risk is still feel about the yes, right? But I see there's no risk. Right now, there's no risk.
Sorry, who's having a gym? Jim Sack. Okay. They don't want you going to the fucking town hall, but you can't fuck it. Uh, can I just ask this, the information about the sign? Um, I, I missed that a little bit. Uh, the sign will instruct people on how to. Uh, okay. It's really hard to hear what everyone is saying in chat. So, after for the next meeting, well, I think so far there needs to be a physical place where people just want to write. Right. Well, that's great. Could be me or could be you or. Oh, you mean a select board doesn't have to be? Doesn't have to be, no. Maybe we can talk about that. Um, okay, so motion on the table. All those in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. Five, zero. Okay. Do so I just check in logistically to see there's um, a comment here if F40 could mute? I, I have muted, I think, everybody but the select board. I muted myself. <laughs> yep, now they've muted themselves. That works.
mute yourself because we can hear you but we couldn't hear Matt. I'm going to go back on mute now. Thanks Julian. I'm going to unmute. Huh. Mute. Oh there. Maybe V40 is muted. Great. Thank you. V40 is muted now. I can take mine off. Maybe that's the echo. Okay, I'll turn it back on. And then everyone's audio down. Uh, there we go. Okay. I have no idea what that person said. I have no clue at all. What, on here? Yeah. She was asking the person to mute there. That was too many. The minute taker. Yeah. No, nothing substantive. Okay. Um, so there's a motion, needs a second to authorize Dean to have tech group, have town employees have remote access to the network and set that up tomorrow. Right, you have to set our server up to allow that. I'll make that motion. Okay. So, second. Motion second. Oh, okay. I'll second. That's fine. Um, yes. So um, I know last meeting that Christina had concerns about accessing Nemrec. The only person aside from Christina Mary to access Nemrec is either me and that's read only or Daniel, and that is um, the planning and zoning uh, module. We could say, you know, and Mary said it's not possible to do Nemrec anyway, but um, for now we could say no Nemrec just to take that off. And, Concerns. Okay. A uh, friendly amendment. Okay. Any more discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? All in favor, none opposed. Uh, we're at 6.15. So um, I think we'll have an opening here. I guess we already lost it, huh? Okay. Um, let's catch up and then do the rest at the end. Is anyone here for the ash tree bit opening? Uh, judging from who signed on, no. Then we'll postpone that one. Yeah, I, I would recommend that we, anything that we can push off, we should because this is not really conducive to difficult conversation. No. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'd like to know about the agenda item. Open. Let's push that off to another meeting. Great. Okay, so while we're waiting for the National Multiple Sclerosis Society to call us back. Uh, we had a couple new ones. The warning for April 7th. Dean, it seems like what we're statutorily required to do is. Um, the charter has a requirement to post the warning 20 days before the vote and that happened we both signed it on the 18th and mary posted it right afterwards um, the charter does not say anything about publication so in my view i haven't consulted the attorney on this but it would seem to default to the statute and the statute requires five days of notice in the newspaper before the vote so we will have that by the citizen publishing on March 26th. 
and Shaw News will publish on April 2nd, which is depending on how you count it, that could be five days before April 2nd. We also have an online version. I'm going to make sure that can we make sure that this gets on the online? Yeah, version? and that will post sooner. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I think it's I think the April 7th vote is legally warned. There have been some comments I think from the public and on the table um, asking about the language that, that's under public comment. Uh, can we actually can we uh, postpone? I would have I would have Dean look have the legal look into that. I, I don't know. That's not clear on the statute. I mean, I think the issue with the long is you have to set the budget for the upcoming fiscal year. Well, it has to be approved before July first, but the tax rate is set in August or July late July. And my concern is things could be worse, not better. We could be in the hump of the pandemic rather than in the beginning of it. If it gets delayed. If it gets delayed. And what would change about the absentee ballots that are already yeah, here you go. out and, and received since they are all state with that date? No, that's why I would have Dean look into it. You know, what it would take and is it even possible? Are people okay with Dean finding that out? What our options are? Yes. Uh, we could have a first Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I guess uh, Christina just texted it. If it's not approved, there has to be another budget vote. Um, I guess I'm just wondering you're fine not to vote it anyway. So, what would we be looking into the legalities of? What we're looking to make it right to extend the existing vote to a later date. Okay. Is that legal? Well, they both can. I just, we can only do what we can do. Uh, and we're exploring our options. I think Mary can do anything she wants. But I haven't heard about any information about delaying the vote, but I'd like to know. So. Well, the only thing that was wrong with the with the ad was the location. But that was actually just a misprint in a newspaper. That, that's what I mean. Yes. A misprint, a newspaper. And, and just to be clear, that was a misprint. That was the warning that I sent them March 6th. So that was the original warning. It got published two weeks later. And now they're going to publish the revised warning that you oh. on March 6th. Okay. So it wasn't even a misprint. It's just timing. Meetings at town hall. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we don't have to take any action for legally warning it for April 7th as a board. That's still doable. Uh, that's that one. Five minutes. Do we have time for? Ah, is there a motion to change the posting location temporarily from the old brick store to the post office due to hours of operation issues? Yeah, so moved. 
second it. Any discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carrie, that was I. Oh, yeah, sorry. 5 0. Okay. So, just the Vermont State Police email. Is that in hard copy here? Uh, it's in the packet. It's not on the page. I think they are doing less traffic enforcement and want to just be a presence in the community. Um, show people, you know, there's, um, you know, under this time of change, the state police is still out there. And I think they're just going to make sure that the select board's okay with that because they may not be doing as much control. I mean, I, I'm inclined to defer to whatever their best judgment is on how to do policing. I think that. Uh, does he want a formal response? Um, I think it would be good to have a confirmation. Uh, one, I can decide another board affirms their decision. Yeah, please do. Is there a motion? Uh, yes, I'll see if I can do this. <laughs> I would make a motion that we um, have Dean uh, communicate with the state police that we receive their email and we all have that, and we've all reviewed that email in our packet. And thank them for their services. Yes, thank you. Second? Okay. Any more discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Great. Uh, he's going to call it like 6.30 exactly, huh? Who's that? Um, someone from the National Multiple Sclerosis called at 5. Why don't we just... Blanket them. Blanket them. Yeah. We know these folks. We, we, we yeah. We've worked with them before. We never had an issue. I mean... I'm comfortable. I, you know. There's only one little small issue. Well, that's yes. All. Just a one, one of them is for profit. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. Well, that's something we're not... Um, it's just his, his, the last two years, he's, this will be the third year he's asking to do this. Um, the first two years, the Park and Wildlife Committee. Um, oh, well, we can bring it up. We'll bring it back up. Okay. Hello? Hey, this is Wes with the MS Society. Can you guys hear me? Yes, thank you for calling in. No problem, happy to do so. Um, so I'll make a motion to approve the National Multiple Sclerosis Society's request to use the town highways for fundraising bicycle ride on August 15th, 2020. Is there a second? No second. Is there any discussion? Do you have anything you'd like to share or add? Yeah, really the only thing I'll say is um, it's really gonna be status quo from the previous years. Um, and I know last year, we had discussed putting the additional signage on what was the um, the left-hand turn on the Dorset Street off of Hinesburg Road for some of our cyclists um, for that eastbound traffic. Uh, that worked out real well, and we certainly plan on doing so again this year. Um, so we're just going to move forward with that, which was an addition last year. So just wanted to make sure that you guys know that's still on our radar, and we'll be uh, executing that as well. Great. Thank you. All those in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? 
Okay, well, have a good ride. Yeah, thanks for doing it. Anytime. Thank you guys so much. Stay safe. Likewise. I'm still here. Even though that's more than it's not good, but it's for profit. I think it's worthwhile because it's exposing people to art. And that's a good thing. And he's, he and his family have been very well taken care of. Yeah, I just and, I just don't want to use the full no, profit pot. Good question. Emails are always is it open the door? That's all. Well, well you guys done in this um in a lower cost for law residents. So that's kind of a good way to do that for that. Sure. I, I, there is a also a precedent. There's a for-profit bicycle ride that's gone on for years, um, and they donate a dollar uh, per cyclist. Um, as whereas we don't ask nonprofits to do that. So in some way, there's some monetary um, recompense. Aware that that's all. No, that's good. That's a good question. Um, okay, six thirty-five. The Kelly Brush ride. Make a motion to approve the. Kelly Brush Ride's request to use the town highways for a fundraising bicycle and hand cycle ride on September 12th, 2020. Is there a second? second Any discussion? Kelly has come in every year I've been on and it's a very well attended ride, not a race. Uh, well organized. Extremely well organized. I did. Did we vote on the Murdoch one? Not yet. He's next. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 So sorry. Uh, all good. Yeah. Uh, 5 0. 640. Duncan Murdoch. Make a motion to approve Duncan Murdoch's request to use the Charlotte Park and Wildlife Refuge for guided nature walks on October 2nd, 17th, and 24th of 2020. Is there a second? I'll second that. Discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Uh, the agricultural leases. Hey, hey, hey. Buddy. So you did approve of uh, the lease, the land, agricultural land at the park and Galvin parcel to Bill and Preston. Um, what this is about now is just to confirm the wording of the lease because there's been some changes in terms of the, of the property. Um, so there's no more land strikeouts in the asset. Um, So these were five, it was, it was a 10 year lease with an option for a five year renewal. And now it's basically totally a new lease, like it's yeah. at that natural 10 year mark. Yeah. Um, and when the bids came in, these were the bids that were the most competitive that the board approved, these numbers. Mm -hmm. um, there was two bids and this one was, I'd say significantly lower or higher for the, you know, more revenue for the town. Uh, did you have other? Yeah, I'm looking at what, what's it, on number three, I understand what says, do not require big mold for good habitat, $15. Yeah. You see that? The town will be compensated annually at a rate of 41.25 per acre for fields that do not require late mowing for bird habitat. So there is a bobolink habitat, which is a, I don't know if it's actually endangered, but it's certainly a threatened bird. And um, 
as part of a friendly agreement a few years ago, the they were uh, the lease holders were the leasees were willing to at the direction of the Charlotte Wildlife and Refuge Committee, not mow lands where bobolinks were seen to be nesting, yeah. and they could pay a reduced rate because they wouldn't get as much hay out of it. So $15 for less because they're not going to mow into all these fields, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. Or $15 versus 4125 From the 4125 Right. Yeah. So they're down in the mow, but they're waiting. Waiting until the nesting cycle is over. I've seen some posts about bears at bird feeders. Mount Bilerus. I know, we're not down. <laughs> <laughs> the coons were out. Oh, yeah. They're hungry. Uh, anyone see any other issues with the edits? Make a motion to approve the changes to the Shaw Park and Wildlife Refuge agricultural lease as presented. I'll second that. Um, just a little more the, on the header. We'll have to change the date there as well. Okay. It says November 2015th. No, 2015. You, there was a second? Yeah, I second. You second? Do we want Make both of these repeal or we want to do two separate. Uh, I, yeah, we can do this. Uh, uh, one, motion. One, motion. one motion, sure, and then we'll just discuss the other edits if there are any for Galbraith. Yeah, okay. Uh, friendly amendment. So the next document is the Galbraith parcel agricultural lease. So this lease is changed and there's a certificate that's no longer available with that lease. Yeah, the description of lease front premises. And every time there's a picnic area at one time, and now you're not leasing that. Okay, that's the date at the end. It was reserved for a picnic area and never actually was. <coughs> this is March. Yeah. Uh, there was an right. area that was made for a picnic area. In the previous yeah. uh, Dean, the top, top line of both documents will switch to March. Yeah. We usually put the, the notary statement. Uh, just the next page. So it depends on who notarizes it. Or on to what the date um, there is, there is there always uh, one day. Yeah, so all notaries are the same. Yeah. Okay. So again, this picture gave that number six on crops. Yep. I'm trying to figure out this is uh, the second line says all the crops may only be grown by approval of the select board, except that feed feed, feed corn. Feed corn shall not be grown on this, except that feed corn will not be grown on this crop. So no, no corn, no corn for food. Yeah. Okay. 
uh, and corn, well, two things, the discussions with the oversight committee, it's um, input intensive with fertilizers and pesticides and herbicides. Um, and um, it also opens up a lot of the soil, which then was causing runoff down Holmes Creek towards Charlotte Beach. So um, there was a change. When I first came on the board, maybe six, five years ago, that the park wanted, no, just before I came on the board, uh, seven years ago, where they decided to not have that open tilling practice at the park. So how do we decide to get rid of it? Um, it, you know, since it wasn't being used, I, I guess I kind of uh, assumed it wasn't wanted, but I guess they bought it. Where actually is it? Is it um, on Churchill Road? On Churchill Road side. On the, to the uh, north on the side? Um, east, northeast. It's not, um, sorry, if it's not, uh, if it's not maintained by the farmer in terms of being low or we actually, he's also talked about planting barley and wheat there, um, which is, which is a lot on that side of the property. Um, so if it's, if it's not maintained by the farmer, then it's not maintained by the farmer. So by the way, I mean, it's probably a practical thing to Right. Well, we could leave it in the lease. And you could always take it out later. People? Gene, did you consider the farm plan to use that fossil to grow something? The picnic fossil? Did you say that the person who likes to eat this land? Would like to use that area that was the picnic area to climb the crop. I mean, he didn't actually yeah, say yeah. that, but um, he proposed, I think in his proposal, he talked about the possibility of you know, row crops, grain crops. So um, I highly recommend that. I love it. I don't like the word being taken out of the lease. And so we love trying to give you anything you want to. You don't need to take a well, we could leave it in the lease go visit. and go visit. I mean, a 15 by 25 is about the yeah. size of this room. Wow. And it says the town will maintain it and mow it. <laughs> but. Who's calling now? Hello. Hi, uh, this is Duncan Murdoch from Nature Connection Guide. Hey, we approved your um, event. Oh, great. We were a little ahead of schedule and hoped you wouldn't mind. I don't mind at all. Cool. Okay, thanks, Duncan. Hi, everyone. Thank you for doing that. Okay, yep. I'm gonna move. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Hang up now. Have a good night, Duncan. Okay, so we can confirm the second, the tenth. Um no, 
I'm sorry, the second, the 17th, and the 24th then? Yes, absolutely. All right, thanks a lot. Have a good one. Yes, you too. All right, bye-bye. Bye. I will say that the approved release of the Gold Rate property, but we can... We've already, well, we've so already. we have a motion and a second, <laughs> but we'll take a friendly amendment any day. <laughs> okay, good. So if you want to leave it in there, it's as amended. It's left in. Great. Okay, I'm good. So we're amending that on the Galbraith lease. So the Galbraith lease is being amended to leave that in. Correct. Yep. And we can revisit it after doing a site visit. Yeah. Right, but Dylan won't be doing anything with it until we revisit it. It's the picnic area currently. We're going to. Well, that's what this was doing. If, but if you want to leave that that paragraph in there, then no, he doesn't use any do, do anything with the picnic area. Well, add something to the picnic area. Don't allow something. That would just be taking it out, and then he can use the, all the land. Just remember, if we keep it in, it means the town is paying something to mow it. Right. So uh, if we take it out, then we don't know if we don't pay somebody to mow it. We got paid for it. Yeah, we get paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot, but it's about five dollars. Yeah, right. <laughs> Percentage of an acre. Back when the Galaxy Park was, I think it was, when it was on the parks, it was just discussed and put in as as a possibility. So it's north of where that section of the pass went. No, it's south of that. So let it go. Strike it. Well, it's presented with the adjustments mentioned before. We still can, we'll just be in between the bar then. <laughs> it's good. Any more discussion? I think that's where we just landed is to strike it. Oh, you did? Okay, yes. I'm not sure you asked this. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Just the, just the minor corrections we've had. Okay. Leaving that paragraph out to present it. Okay. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Please, we have time. The waste management, I don't think he does. Yes, probably not. I just wanted to point that out in case there was something wrong. I'm sure it's all Yeah, I don't think he generates any waste. There's no food or drinks. I've been meaning to do one of these walks. Yeah. If if he needs to, can he fill that out? Um, yeah, I don't think he. I don't think he does through anything. 
Uh, three appointments. Well, he's not a reappointment. He's a new appointment. Is he on there? He's on uh, 705. Oh, 705. So the seven o'clock, I'll make a motion to appoint everyone. Bill's on. Is that the 705? Wait, what? Seven o'clock is page. This seven o'clock is page two people, and then the bill's on seven oh five. Okay. Hey, Fritz. Okay. Uh, so I'll make a motion to approve everyone under the reappointments uh, as described on page two of the meeting agenda. Yeah. With with the respective as presented. I'll second that. Uh, any discussion? We uh, on the back of the agenda. And we went over these last meeting. These are uncontested reappointments. Back to the interviews. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a great point. There, there are there are other towns. There are other towns that do it this way. Too. Yeah. So it's not it's not totally out of the realm of what we want to see them yearly and yeah okay all those in favor indicate by saying aye aye coast seven oh five is there a motion? I'll make a motion to. I'll make a motion to, <laughs> a motion to uh, appoint Fritz Taggett to the Westshalot Village Wastewater Committee for a term ending April 30th, 2022. I'll second that. I'll second that. Any discussion? Is he, he hasn't joined the meeting. He indicated he is not. Um, he, he, he texted me at the last meeting saying he would like to be on that committee. That's good. Well, he Blood from a stone. <laughs> he knows the position he's been on the, on the committee at the source And I'm really happy that he continue basically as a member. At large, pivotal member at large. Uh, okay, all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Um, is there a motion? Um, I'll make a motion to appoint Bill Stuna to the Planning Commission for a term ending April 30th, 2022. Second. Discussion? This is a vacant seat with only one interested applicant. So Bill, all right, Bill was connected. Oh, Bill is on. hey. Hello, can you hear me? 
Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Can you hear Bill? Can you hear Bill? Can you hear Bill? Is your Bill coming up to see it? Everyone's turning theirs up. Here, let me just turn mine up and we'll see if that works. Go, Bill. Bill, try again. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Good. Yeah. I'm on a, I'm on cellular, not Wi-Fi. So it cuts in and out a little. Well, this is a first. Can you tell us a little bit about what you'd like to do on the planning commission and why you're interested? Well, I think I could bring a little bit of experience to the board and uh, I hope they could use my skills and other than that, I, I think, you know, I think the planning commission is a little understaffed, but they're doing a pretty good job. Bill, this is Louise. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Uh, what do you think the biggest issues facing the planning commission are? <laughs> well, last time you asked me that, and, and the biggest issue is that they, they're understaffed. Uh, you know, in my opinion, and they could use uh, a little bit more skills. If you come to a meeting, you'll notice that Peter, um, you know, it, it pretty much drives everything. And there's not a lot of participation. I assume Jim could probably elaborate on that, you know, since he was there for a short time. Um, I think, you know, as Sherlock grows, we're going to have uh, stress on the community and and it's important that we grow it in a, a a good way Can you hear Carrie, Bill? No, I can't. Can you hear no. Up in here? Can you, Carrie, can you unmute your mic? video also. Can you hear me now? A little bit. Go ahead, Carrie. I'm not hearing you. I've lost the sound. I can't hear. I can't hear anybody now. Can you hear me? Hey, Bill. Okay, you're Carrie. Back. Oh, there Carrie's working on unmuting. Carrie, it's still muted. I can hear everybody else. Can you hear me Nope, you're still muted. It's a red microphone. Okay, how about now? Yes. Okay, very good. I'm looking at myself. I'd rather be looking at you, but I'm all right. <clears throat> and I apologize for my voice, but I do have to ask the question or make the comment that in my 25 years of being here, I've never heard anyone say that our planning commission was understaffed. I also have heard that the planning commission might be best to go down to a five position board versus the seven. And I just wondered, I just, found it interesting that you were the first one to say that about the planning commission when I've not personally ever heard it. And I don't hear everything. I'm not saying that by any means, but. Would you like me to respond? Yes, please. Well, thank you for the, the question. Um, 
If you backtrack the last year's worth of minutes for the Planning Commission, you'll see that they almost never had all seven members present, uh, yeah. sometimes only four, uh, frequently mostly five. Uh, I'd prefer not to say the members who haven't been there, but um, if you look at the minutes, you'll see that um, Peter and uh, mostly one other member uh, tend to drive the meetings. And I, I think they could use more skills on this board. Um, and I'd like to see uh, some of the select board members maybe come to the meetings and, and see it firsthand. Uh, other than that, they're, I think they're doing a good job. They're, they're wrestling with uh, a shortage of participating members. And it, it takes them longer to, to reach good decisions, in my opinion. And uh, where do you see the town five years from now? What would you like to see happen? Well, I think we're going to grow and I, I support some growth. I think the village centers can use it. Um, I think uh, we seem to be growing at a pretty good pace as far as development. Um, and I, I think we're on the right track. Were you able to hear that? I was able to hear that, yes. <clears throat> Thank you. Can, would anybody like me to talk more about that? I think Bill, we've got a, Bill, we've got a, um, a good view. Thank you. That's fine. I got your steps. I didn't hear you, Louise. Oh, you didn't hear that. Oh, I just said, uh, I think I think we're all set. Thank you for uh, agreeing to, to do this. Okay, thank you. Where are we at now? Uh, we have a motion, a second. Any more discussion? Well, I just don't know if I do. I think I might have more discussion, actually. I... Uh, I also am concerned. You had asked the planning commission about uh, two months ago to change the date, the time, and the day that they met. And is that something that will interfere with your, um, with you at all, having to meet on Thursday nights? No, not at all. Uh, I, I go to many of the meetings as it is. Uh, I do think that another night might help with public participation uh, and be more convenient, but I'm fine with it uh, the day that it is. Okay. Sure. Is there any more discussion? Well, I'm really, I'm very worried about um, putting someone on the planning commission. And Bill, I don't hold grudges, but I'm very concerned about putting somebody on our planning commission, our town, who I felt was very disrespectful when there was that terrible snafu with the tree situation. And I'm very worried about somebody who had such, uh, you know, was so upset and had such words for me that I'm putting them as a town guide and it really uh concerns me that we never had and you know you and i had never had any problems as far as i knew prior to that but i just uh something about that felt 
like I just wasn't sure it was would be in my best judgment if you have more on an agenda than you know other than the best interest of Charlotte and I apologize for saying this it's very difficult to say it but I have to so, thank you for your time well thank you Terry I understand your concerns um, I thought the ash situation was handled poorly by the select board but these are um, it's not an easy issue to, to deal with. Uh, I know I'm not the only person that felt the select board could do better. Um, I think we're we just need to go forward and uh, you know I, I attended enough meetings. I think I've earned respect from people. I know I get emails from people who appreciate me speaking on some of these issues. Um, but I do think you handled the ash tree situation very poorly. And uh, I, I honestly hope you'll do better in, in the future in situations like that. I, I know um, I would have, and uh, I hope you'll, uh, you'll, you know me enough now that I can bring something to this board and bring something to the town. I care deeply for this community. Um, I volunteer in several respects. Um, and I, I go out of my way to attend meetings. I, I hope I've earned your respect. Well, I would hope I have earned yours as well. I th I'd like to just go forward. But there was no answer to that question. Thank you. Is there more discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Uh, thank you, Bill. Welcome to the Planning Commission. Thank you so much. I, I hope to earn your trust. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. 715 paving aprons at Quinlan Covered Bridge and the Seguin Covered Bridge. I received a couple of emails from neighbors and residents, um, all in support. And Junior is here. Thank you for coming under the considering the circumstances. So yeah, I mean, I, uh, I called most of the, not all of the rest of the residents, but probably about 15 or so in the road between the bridges and stuff, just to, so they would be informed of what I wanted to do. Um, just so you know, I don't know how many of them look at the uh, board agenda. So most of them, most of them that I do, I think you'll be one. I don't think I read one from Mel. I got a couple of calls and a couple of emails that were all for Who's calling now? Hello? Hello. Hey, Chris, I was just texting you. <laughs> well, I'm not very successful at Zooming. It says that I was in the Sherlock Point board. I was waiting to be let in. Yeah, I, I don't see him as well. 
too late, right. Chris. We've already, we've already <laughs> voted on it. It's too late. I can't change the vote. It's definitely too late for me. Also, uh, at the beginning of the meeting, um, we authorized the team to check with legal to see what it would take um, to postpone the election as a possible option. Um, and he'll also check with Mary to see if she knows anything from the Secretary of State about, uh, about that. I'm pretty sure you can probably do it. There's probably a way for it to be we we were okay to look into it yeah right at the end yeah oh. just think about the, but also are you bothered to put out there that it's going to uh, the change the, the change of, of location yeah and yep yeah. and then there was an issue of possibly it possibly have been miswarned but looking at the statute that's not the case it just has to be warned uh, at the locations appropriately in five days before. Cool. So I think I'll have to figure that loosening up so I can. Uh, we have quite a few people. We have some sound issues that we're going to try and iron out. It's better. Uh, uh, Frank has got a, a laptop and just, so is Jim. I have just an iPhone. It's, it's, it's really a little difficult to do on an iPhone, so. Um, that's what I'm trying on. So, am, am I done? Is there an interview to be had here? No, it's too late. No, we appreciate your service. Okay. Cool. Well, let's get out of your meeting then. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Yeah. Bye. I uh, I in the So I think on board with it. So I think maybe the next step, I'm not sure we can look into it, but I think because of the seen it um that we might have better ones i'm not sure just what the protocol is but we might have to have a uh, public hearing um just because of the and see it go so i think that might be the next step um and you know if we could get that try to get that sometime in the next you know month or month and a half not sure when they'll be dating, but usually we do we try to do it in May or June. Usually apples and but I know a lot of outdoor work is going on unimpeded. Is that true for paving? Yeah, I think, well, I think uh, you know paving uh, is actually uh, Jay Hutchins is probably going to be starting now in uh, events. Uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna be paving, but like the first of April, uh doing some you know lower prep. prep work and stuff. So yeah, so I don't, I don't want that to hold us up. Um, so we can just look into that. Yeah. That's, that's the only other thing. Let's consider that kind of one of the essential things we don't want to kick down the road. Right. Down the apron. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's going to be more than a thousand dollars. Okay. I'm like, who has a beaver? Are you telling me there's eight inches of snow out there? Not eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what the eight hundred is for us. Just that it's not too deep for And are you sure we have to have the hearing? Or kind of? That's right. Okay. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's because of the past. Well, because of it being scenic and we want to put a little bit of black dot on the scene. Three parts of the scene. It's going to like be 150 feet total. So I just think we should look into it. Yep. Great. So we don't get 
like close to it and then some of them just don't have it in. Right. Got it. I think it's going to make the bridges, it's going to preserve our carbon bridges, it's going to keep the sand, the log of sand and stuff, and gravel from tracking in on the car tires. Um, it would definitely make it easier to uh, maintain the load and maintain the bridges, especially two of them are right on the curves, so it's really hard to get in there and the greater to create out of there. Awesome. I remember this discussion when I wasn't on the board years ago. They didn't know what these were. Yeah, I think they were neighbors like 2008 or something like that. I didn't think more hard to go to the sweat board. I don't know if you sent us that same letter on me guys. I don't know. Anyway, he's, he's in favor of it. Great. Do we need any official action tonight? Well, this will be a motion to at least, uh, if it's needed, we want to hear it. If it's not needed, then include it in the request for vote. Correct. So moved. Is there a second? Okay. Any more discussion? All those in favor, indicate by saying aye. Okay. Aye. Opposed? Great. The second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, did you give a list of that? Yeah, I can make any It's on the table. Uh, Um, I to I could get closer, or he could get closer to your mic. Okay, so the, the first one is going to be uh, Jerry Road. It would be from the train station. Uh, okay, Dean, your mic is on. No, it's not. Uh, all the way to the left. There you go. Okay, so the first one, and on now. Okay, first one is Ferry Road, train station to the ferry dock. That's meant like two miles. Now, we have a grant for part of that. And then we have a Lake Road that would be from Ferry Road to Congress Bay Road, approximately a mile. Thompson's Point Road from Lake to uh, Dick Corley's, that's just before the railroad tracks, approximately a quarter mile. Greenbush from uh, Williams Woods up to uh, Thompson's Point, that would include the little apron that goes down East Thompson's Point. Uh, Churchill Road from Route 7 to the intersection of Heinsberg Road, that would finish up that Churchill Road, we did the other part uh, two years ago. And then we have Mount Filer Road, Heinsberg Road to uh, Harv's Tire, approximately seven tenths of a mile. And then if everything goes okay, it would be the, uh, the covered bridges, aprons, Quinlan, south side, approximately 50 feet. And then the rural sequin bridge, both sides, approximately 50 feet to the ends of the guardrails. We have a grant for the I'm not sure of the amount right now, but I'm going to guess it at like 135, somewhere in there. Yeah, it's two miles of road. I mean, of course, we have to pay 20% uh, of the Yeah. Seems worth it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. <clears throat> the cars can go like yeah. So, what's that? Uh, yeah, that'd, be, that'd be a good time to get the ash trees down. Uh, you know what I mean? So it'd be a good time to get the ash tree down on Ferry Road with the ferry shut down. Uh, yeah. Just because that could, could slow them down a lot. I mean, yeah. 
Wanted to mention that uh, Fritz, I think, wanted to put out to bid it, redoing the driveway or the parking lot here, not under the budget of the highway, but just to get a cost on it. So um, that's why I, I thought he was on the phone. But um, so I don't. I also think he wanted to do the library as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Correct. Yeah. But I'm thinking that we're talking about that we would be, well, I think the first part out there is going to be taken out, and that's going to be pretty good. Uh, water gardens over there, so that would be taken out. But I think Fritz wants to pave the rest of it um, from wherever it comes start all the way around to the yeah, they're going to take out the front Very part and put kind of an ADA parking kind of closer to that side, I think, and then they're going to redo the rest of it. Take out some of the trees and that's all the behind dumpster and stuff, and, and make that all part of this parking lot. That part is just going to go all the way out to Ferry Road. At least I think that's what Fritz is talking about. I mean, it depends on what the library is doing and whether it's select board. Is but I think whatever we do is we would at least if it's not a lot to bid, it would be separate, but we might try to put it on the that one so we can maybe get our video over here. Get the same. At that point, once we get it, when you guys open the bids, it'll be separate and you could decide then and you have enough money and you want to do it, or just do the library, then I'll do it alone. And if we held off, do you think we would be offending the bidders on that this small piece? You know, by including it with your with the town's whole bid? Well, the towns, I think with the towns you might get a better deal. Right. But I don't want it on with mine. And right. The reason for that is this is gonna cost more per town than road paper. Because of the work. Because of the work the floor, you know, when they get it on the road paper. Tony Jam um, pretty quick. So, uh, but I think if it's uh, the same time, you could get a better deal and have it in there and come back and make a special because it would be this Yep. Yeah. Okay. Are people okay with adding that in the. If it took longer, it would be okay to be done in the library and the library responsibility fund. Yep. I mean, it's more than done in the town. I'd agree. Uh, also, would the culvert get fixed or reset? Well, that would be up to the city. If you're going to reset the actually two culverts, and if they were going to be reset, um, that would have to be ditched from Ferry Road in because that's where they're in. And I think they come up, put them back down, they can ditch them. I don't think it's a they want to put in. So that would be on you guys or on the library as well. The library now is going to, the way I look at it, they're going to be using just this world. They're not going to be using their. So everybody that comes in is going to have to come in this way. But I guess my question is do you think you would do that piece before the paving for us, or you'd want the pavers to do that in the bit? Oh, the culvert and the ditching. Okay. Out of who's that? A repair and reserve fund, not out of the highway budget. Not out of the highway because those those are not those are, town, they're not highway roads. Got it. So I mean, yeah, if you want us to do it or you put it out the band, you know, and have to have to be put on the which would need to be replaced in the city. But I mean, at the very least, I think it should be more ditch cleaned out. Yeah. At the very least, they come in if they did, if you if we thought they didn't need to be lowered, and just uh, pull back the home stuff. 
<laughs> of the yeah. On the other hand, we've always been talking about speed bumps. I have the thought came across my mind. So I'm here to the speed bass is coming all Two speed, two speed bumps right there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm pretty. I'm amazed that we never spoke about any of this part of the project during the library project visit. We never talked about much about the parking garage. Well, I know Britt's talked about on. the trees and everything, but right. we never talked about the paving. Mm -hmm. So it was all part of the site plan. Oh, we never discussed. We didn't, but the planning commission looked at all that. What budget? Money-wise, we never, I don't recall. I'd have to ask Fritz about the scope of work in Clerks of the work, Clerk of the Works. I don't uh, think it has to be done, but I think what it is is that there's going to be some spots over there where they're torn off yeah. the new parts that are going to have to be done. And I think Chris is just thinking to redo, you know, to redo it all, um, just to make it all nice. Yeah. Could rip it up and go gravel. Well, hopefully, we can get done this library project before we build into any more. And have this done and paid for. It. You know, we have all the money for it. Yeah, well, I'll start again with you know, uh, this for paving and how to move it, these two spots. So, when we open the bits, I think we were talking about it in the nature. Um, so if this is approved, I think that, uh, uh, you know, the uh, Request for provision on the table without any money in there, or without any data in there. Um, you can see the look like if you're okay with going out. Do you, have the, do you have the total mileage of what the roads are? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it's here. Okay. Okay. I can get it from the on there. It's not a Two miles for the ferry road. Yeah. yeah. Normally we get about three miles, roughly, with our Manila budget, and then we got the other two miles. Uh, got it. So we got 5.5. I'm just adding these up. Okay. And, you know, I'm not sure that we're going to be able to get all of these done right on this. Right. You do as much as you can in this order. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, if you're okay, back to going out and then maybe a separate sheet saying parking lot and bridge acres. Other acres. Or the cover bridge acres, if everything goes okay, that would be on the line from the highway. Yeah, yeah. And so those are going out to hit. As part of this, or is that it's not simply page or something? No, as part of this. If everything goes, if everything goes in, we'll see in the virtual room. But we'll get a price. But we'll get a price. And so you'll and so you'll include square footage for. The library town well, Fritz said well, it's unregulated. It's 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 okay. Yeah, I think Fritz uh, indicated that it's very simple. It's a very simple game. When I have an old cat to get a hold of him and say, hey, you can hear such a thing. I will go and get his old room. Perfect. And just so I'm seeing the covered bridges correctly, it's 50 feet on each side. That's linear feet going away from the bridge. Okay. Yep. 
So 150 total. Got it. I thought it was 150 linear off each bridge. Okay. So there's three sections of 50 feet each. Okay. Is that clear for the description? Do we have clear description for the pavement and the line laying out here? I mean, it probably would be a step. It would go together. It would go together. It is out. It is out. Four or five. Four or five. And advertise. And advertise. It would be for site visits. And it would be a separate budget. We would be getting a number number. So for that, we'd have to invite the someone from the library before we approved any of the bids. Okay, so is there a motion to approve the request for paving bids as discussed? Is there a second? I'll second it. Any more discussion? Have the information Yep. I have, just have it accurately. Accurately dated. Yep. Amounts of mileage and have it updated to. When will the bid deadline be? Monday. This will be out for 15 days, and this is going to go into the next week. So, Monday, 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 Second. So, fifteen days from now. Uh, we'll probably be on the twenty-seventh. Meeting the twenty-seventh. What are they doing? Then it's just like you. If they're on that meeting, do they want to be? Are they able to receive back before then? You could, but they're not going to be open. Okay. Unless you want to be here for it. Yeah. We can. I mean, I'm just thinking we're getting close to our main yeah. um, start. That's all. We're we'll having a meeting on it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So I'm, just, I'm just wondering if we should have, if we should open them beforehand so that they can be, you know, so that you can put it in a format so we can look at them. And yeah, they, they can be opened on the 20th. Yeah. yeah. And then reviewed on the, decided on the 27th. Yeah. So it's a long time. I'm just trying to move it up to that, the meeting. That's all. That way you have time to right. put the comparison together. So you want to. Designate somebody to open them. <laughs> I will open up. I'll open them. I try doing that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. and, and doesn't they carry it out of the bed? Yep. <laughs> okay. A lot of crickets on that one. <laughs> So you do have to make a motion in a second. All, All this. this. It's six o'clock. What time are you going to be here? Four o'clock. Four o'clock.
Could do it in the parking lot. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Junior. Hopefully with fuel prices, asphalt prices will be low this year. <laughs> yeah. It really is. Like, uh, it's fertilizer, right? Oh, yeah, I left that part out. <laughs> it's got nitrogen trapped in it. Atmospheric nitrogen. Okay, uh, 740. We're ahead of schedule. Are we still in? Moncton Road, repair plan, structures grant application, and certificate of compliance for town road and bridge standards and network inventory. So, Roy King did a uh, demo and it's in the packet. They looked at that lightweight film, and they did not be able to it. And then they looked at two options of structural components that we have. The structure of one is an angle and the other is a and they priced them both out. And he, without looking at it, but the lightweight concrete is less expensive and then it came out in a very condition on that. And also less synthetic. Right. Foam. So there is a um, grant application deadline in the April 17th. And one of the requirements for the grant application is to get a compliance saying that the town has adopted the grant standards that are equal to or greater than the state standards. Um, Great. Um, so tonight we're here to approve submitting a grant application right. or drafting a grant application for us to see and approve. You could just recognize that there's no grants in front of you. Um, so the next yeah. meeting is the opportunity. Yeah. Do people want to see the grant April 13th? Yeah. Okay. As soon as you have it, that way, if we did have the emergency meeting before then, we could throw that on there. And then the certificate of uh, compliance need for these months. Now? Uh, yeah, that would be the best. Um, Uh, we need to make a motion for this. Dean, we need yeah, to make a motion for this. So motion to uh, 
would sign the certificate of compliance with town road and bridge standards and new inventory. And it looks like there's tons of places to sign. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Man, you just lined you up here. <laughs> There's a road commissioner meeting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just actually put it before uh, Stantec change order for assistance with RFP for bridge abutments. So Stantec, uh, if Fritz had, had gotten their um, review of the two abutments and it's like for the proof, the contract is $199, $199. Um, and now we're applying for well, we're putting out a request for this. We actually are applying for a here. But um, it seems like if we're going to request for the bids and evaluate the bids, it would be just a matter of whether we have a chance to do that. And they gave an estimate of approximately $1,150. So that would be a change order for a contract and then however you want to call it. Um, so that's what it is. Where's that money coming from? That is our capital. I would have Make a motion to approve a change order for Stantex assistance, drafting the specifications with the RFP for the bridge abutments for the was there an exact amount? It was not too. Uh, this is the rest. Not to exceed one thousand one hundred and sixty dollars for a total agreement amount not to exceed two thousand one hundred fifty nine dollars. That includes what we already paid. Okay. Yeah, that includes the nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Yep. Yeah. Is there a second? Discussion? You think it's a good idea? Yes. Yeah. All those in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Selection of contractors for town mowing, cemetery mowing, and town brush hogging. So there were the one page for town mowing, cemetery mowing, and brush hogging. Um, town mowing, mowing, cemetery mowing, and the Is there a motion? Thank you, Junior. Safe travels. Yeah, you do. I'll make a motion to award the mowing the land maintenance bid for the town of the Momo Mall. Um, got the total here of twenty-six thousand five hundred. Do this all separately, or uh, sure. Just, However you want. Just in one or more separately. Yeah. We can combine the last. So. Okay. I'll second that, uh, and just a friendly amendment: the hourly cost for additional work of forty dollars per hour. Okay. Any discussion? Um, I'm guessing the newspaper just want to pull off the total. The total again. The total is twenty-six thousand five hundred for the total bid, and the hourly cost for additional work is forty dollars per hour. Thanks.
Right, I just want to shut my volume off. I don't So are you all? Uh, we're ready for a motion. I second it. And had the um, friendly amendment to add the forty dollars per hour. Yes. No more discussion. All those in favor, indicate by saying aye. No. Aye. Opposed. Opposed. Okay. Let me do the next one. Cemetery um, Mowing and Maintenance Bid. First, uh, Mr. Adam Mancher. Um, this is also bid $5,390 with a $40 per hour cost of work. <coughs> and then there was the serious. People requesting to enter a meeting that and yeah, they Matt, can't get Matt, it. Matt accidentally exited, and uh, so he's saying that there's a message that he wants to be admitted or he's, he needs to be admitted. Oh, weird. Um, uh, so that happened. He might have to just close out of his like the app altogether and try just clicking on the link again. Um, or if you have a notification somewhere on your like participant list, I'm looking down at the bottom. I um, you may have a message saying um, he would like to enter the meeting, and then I think you could just say accept or decline. Yeah. Yep, he's back. Oh, there he is. Yep. Thank you. Sorry about that. Yep. Uh, I want to go back on mute. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, there are a few people here on here. I think uh, Kelly Brush is joining. Can you read on that one? Yes. Just so you know that. Yeah, I think that was <laughs> okay. Uh, Zeke, are you there? Yeah, can you guys hear me? We can. All right. right. Sorry, I got you going. Uh, so. Say that again, Dean. Hey, Zeke. Ah, oh, nice. 
How are you guys? Good. My body through that. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Um, do you guys want me to start? I assume you've had a long night. We actually get approved. Yeah. Oh, great. Um, well, thank yeah, you. The good work. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Obviously, tough, going to be a strange year, so we'll see where we are in September, but uh, I'll keep you guys all updated. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'll be by then. Yeah. Yep. So I you guys have any questions for me or need anything else from me? Otherwise, I'll let you get on with your night. No, have a have a good event. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I'll hear Thank from you before then. Okay. Great. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Not sure. Anyway, right. 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 so, I made the long split smoke to approve all the batteries for both of the bids. Oh, sorry. I'll do a short second. Julia. Any more discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Oh, brush. Well, Julian, too. Yes. I think I was there. So, brush. I thought we just did everything. That was a that was a two pronged motion. Yeah, okay. it was to the same contractor. Um, I guess we could open the bins for the uh, afternoon. Yep. I've lost all track of time. Oh. I keep looking over here. And <laughs> I think that's it. Let me open them. We are going back to the opening of the bids, the 550 item. Great. Perfect. Okay. I need to just set my car on my <laughs> One bid by Gregory Smith. Quote for the entire project area. One nineteen thousand three hundred dollars. End point achievable with twenty thousand check mark. Number of working days required to complete the job is ten. Three known references I'm familiar with, and it is signed. What was the amount? Nineteen three. Now we can do the whole 
my letter opener is in a truck. I read it. What's that? I was doing the whole project. The whole project, 10 days. A bid from Barrett's Tree Service. Quote for entire project area is $24,000. $975. Endpoint achievable with $20,000 would be Wings Point North all the way to 10 Stone Circle C below. Number of working days required to complete the job, six to seven. Three known references. And an asterisk at the bottom. They have an additional option. Barrett's could complete the entire project area for $20,000 if the town provides all traffic control services. Chris's lawn care and mini excavating. Quote for entire project area, $18,000. End point achievable with $20,000, the full project. Number of working days required to complete the job by time point given. By what? By time point given. Did we have a time frame that it had to be done by? Well, the question is how many days will it take to complete the job? Not when it would be completed by. So that's um I don't know what just open ended. And the references are the same that were provided last year. I don't Remember if three were given, we could look at that. Um, that? Gosh, it's a lot of bids. Two more bids. Cool. Teacher's tree service, quote for entire project area, $19,500. Endpoint achievable at $20,000, left blank, and because it's under. Number of working days required to complete the job, five to six. Three known references. DJ's Tree Service and Logging Inc. Quote for entire project area, $22,500. End point achievable with $20,000, all of Ferry Road to the underpass on Greenbush Road. Number of days required to complete the job, three. And... Yeah, three known references. Um, Peter Toronto had a comment. It's on the table. It's um, an email.
I'm not hearing any um, sound. Are you guys still on? <laughs> We're all reading an email from Peter Toronto. Uh, I read Peter's email. And what I took from it is he doesn't object to the, it's, we're talking about the same one, doesn't object to the projects, he just thinks we're pay, we were paying too much. Yeah. And his recommendation actually is what the town, the select board decided to do moving forward with the tree warden's recommendation and the ash tree um, committee or working group is that smaller trees not be included like they were last year because junior can take care of those and they're not as dangerous and that the larger um, more technical hazard trees are the ones that are being selected for the bidding process moving forward so that's in line with uh the second half of the email he sent right that was the reason why we got the inventory the town watch inventory of the size of the trees and where they're located so that, like you said, that's the way we're going to try to allow Junior to be able to hopefully uh, weed into his roadside tree cutting the smaller ash trees at a, at a pace that he can control. So that bit just is to the big trees that you picked up. I think they were 12 inches and up. They were, I believe they were probably enough bigger than that, and they're in the selected area, and they've all been, have, have been identified. And they're not under the power lines, which Scream Mountain Power is responsible for. So it's only on the sides of the roads without power lines. Can you get a number of trees? Yo, it's in the, for this specific one? Right. I thought it was about a hundred dollars a tree on average, so like 200 trees. I think the, the email suggests that uh, there's uh, Virginia Lewis here, is that right? Well, yeah, and like I said, he is doing all the smaller ones, right. but it's not more economical for him to do large trees because he's not a tree cutter. Yeah. Um, he doesn't have, I don't know if he has the equipment to do it, and what I'm hoping is, is that these are these are uh, bigger trees that are uh, that are going to be hard for people to handle. So the idea was is to get this RFP to do bigger trees, and like I said, to have the smaller trees for Junior to be able to do put into his normal uh, dead trees and dangerous trees from the roadside anyway. So hopefully you could just add a few more. We still have lots of gum trees that you know make it to six, eight inches and then succumb to touch elm again. Um, and so that those smaller ash would be in that same category of trees that you would drop as needed. Um, so what Dean does with bids, especially when we have more than one, uh, is to put together a kind of comparison table um, so that we can look at that and prove that for the next meeting. And uh, the three word marks on that, give recommendations. Select board work plan, 820. Still ahead of schedule. and some of the changes to the closer, um, various things. Well, it may, that all town committee thing, that may or may not happen. Correct. Or outside, maybe. But with a microphone, it's 
some type of mag for yeah, yeah. for 80 people to be six feet apart. <laughs> the picnic area is not going to be big enough. You know, give them that you do at least have everybody in separate areas that way that there's no group percussions. Right. Okay. Well, what is that? Looks good. There you go. Uh, I just looked back and I just made a couple of comments on it. Yeah, one was we did talk briefly about putting the committee together that the um, nonprofit. Submission for money for the Iowa debt. So, is there a time we can put that in the work plan? So, can we talk maybe just a select board doing it? I think that's the end of that. But I just want to make sure. Yeah, if that's, if, that's, if, that's the, if that's the case, that's good. Okay, then we're not even going to have some place so we know. I'd like to do it the first year also to kind of have our hands on the reins of it. And if it goes well, then sure. maybe we could delegate it once we knew what a. Yeah, a good discourse would be. I don't know if it belongs in here or not. I don't know if it's a great date on it or not. Uh, maybe it's August you know, or September. That's when they usually come in. Does it have to be recorded? Well, I mean, I can see it. That's fun. If you want to review the actual, it would be a great idea. So uh, it would change. Yeah, let's add that. You want to add it to a time when you actually have, you know, they usually come in in September, October, like after that? Or well, I think that. we also discussed maybe July 1, if you could draft a letter to everyone that received a donation saying the town's changing its process. Right. And we're putting, we'll now be vetting. Mm -hmm. Then the sooner you can get your donation request in, Sooner we can start that work. So that's, that's great. And, um, I, sorry if I, I barely got home. It was a nightmare. But anyway, that's not the point here. The point is, did we uh, establish a committee? Well, we were. Uh, Jim was saying, and I think we all kind of recollected the first year the select board board would be that committee to see how it goes, and then we could figure out delegating it if it once we figure out a, something that works. I mean, I guess the most important thing is, uh, are we all together on the criteria? You know, like, like what are our criteria? Our criteria are, you provide services in our town. I mean, what, whatever. And maybe we have that from the last time there was a committee. I think it's just living memory, um, but let's do that, have that criteria on an agenda item so that we can agree on that before they start coming in. Good. That's a great idea. I think to look at some of our past uh, applications for donations to see what was mentioned in them, like the BNA had quite a bit. Yeah. Where those would be the kind of questions or those would be the things we would re kind of require within their request. request. How do you directly provide service to Charlotters? That type of thing? Yeah. Well, the, the amount that went to actual services, the, the Fritz, amount that went for administration. administration. Fritz wanted to see that number. You know, yeah, I, I think we need to, uh, I think we need to get together and put together some points that we want to ask. I mean, we can maybe put a up here just to get the criteria. Yeah, I, I just heard what Frank said, and I agree. Let's, all of this should be checked against, uh, and I don't know what the name of it is, but there's a data, there's a database where you can go on and they'll give you what Frank just asked for, the percentage that goes to direct services and the percentage percentage that goes to administration. Yeah, Fritz went on one and some of these nonprofits just weren't on that database. Yeah. Um, but Jim was just suggesting maybe he and you get together before July 1st and come up with, you know, first crack at that for us. Sure, I'd be happy to. Okay, and he has some experience yeah. with vetting in this manner, he says. Yeah. And then, uh, Fritz Rishma, maybe you can do that, you know, in early May, and then sure. do the site work See if Fritz's boat's available. Yeah, okay. sure. You, you okay, that, Louise? Uh, thanks, Jim. I'd yeah. be happy to. Great. Thank you. Do that. Okay. Good. Okay. Number two. <laughs>
That's great. We had a, a real quick, brief discussion about uh, the challenges we had with the um, our school and the recreation. And so I thought that maybe we could try and put on a, again here some place a maybe a, a discussion about a potential rectal. I think we actually are at center. Rec center. I think I saw that. Is that on now? In June. Yeah, second one down in June, June 8th. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. That's great. I'm sorry. No, I... I've been by Steve Jim in April. We're going to look at the capital budget and the program because I thought it was really important. I don't totally understand it. And forward to looking into the future if that would help in our June discussion if we knew sure. where we stood with bonds and typing. Yes. Oh, no. Try to get a little bit of information on that, getting that ball rolling. That's all just just information, that's all. Great. Okay. We have three. Three, thanks. Two. Two is good. Any others? Great. Looks good. Thanks, Dean. Is there, a, I'll make a motion to suspend as the select board and reconvene as the liquor control board. Oh, come on, you can't, you know. Uh, carry, carry uh, come on. I think she has to recuse herself. Uh, <laughs> seconded by Frank. Uh, you have it here? No, not yet. I'd like to make sure the check is signed. So just an all in favor that we can be. Oh, yes. Thank you. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Dean is getting the document. Got this from Bloomberg's campaign. Let's see, pulls it shot. <laughs> oh. Unique. Unique New York. Hey, D, do you need my signature? Because I can come by early in the morning. You know, I think we'll have three without you, but you're also welcome to sign it. Okay, but are you, are you? Um, we are waiting for Dean to come back with the, oh. with the, with the uh, form. And when he does, we'll make a motion. Okay, sorry, Frank, missed that. Um, anyway, I could, I could scoot in tomorrow if, if, if you need another person. They are connected through the And is it then is it just or um building built no they're they're not showing the video, they're not the video is off. Okay. And the new uh oh we're we're gonna put sign on Eddie's iPad. Is that already connected? Um, it seems to be, but they can have so much on the audio. Oh, wait. Um, I don't seem to be able to unmute my unmuted Margaret. I'm Margaret. A plus student. Just because that was. Mm -hmm.
Do you need any more Carlton apparel? Uh, oh, okay. Should I just order in advance? Like, sure. Why not? What? But I mean, like, you're not taking biology. Just so you know. 242. Oh, that's your thing. Boy, it's a steep learning curve. It's almost me like this. It's hard to do this and time Yeah. I mean, I did change this. You know, it's going to be a minute to come in, um, which I thought I'd set it up that way, but somehow that changed. I think I had, I was on this earlier with you and yeah. Julian, and then when I left the meeting, Huh. Could have been that V40, whatever that was. <laughs> ah, maybe VJ. So, is Jim coming back? Yes. Sorry, Luis. Hello. Look, your control board is not so efficient. <laughs> well, we're, we're all learning how to make this all work, so there you go. I think what we should do is elect a, a 15 year old to the select board. And that would help us with all of our technology issues. Yeah, that definitely would. Just, yeah, even, yeah, non voting member. <laughs> uh, Jim is back, so uh, I'll make a motion to approve the renewal of the 2020 liquor license application for Spears Corner Store Incorporated. Second class. Second class. Oh, yeah, second class license to sell malt and vinous beverages. Oh, thank you. you, you there. Bless you. Is there a second? Uh, everything's in order on the paperwork. The check is attached. Any more discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 There's a place to approve for everyone. As soon as the ink is dry, I'll make a motion to adjourn. What? 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 Adjourn? I'll make a motion as you. No, it's only eight. Stop. I'm not doing that. I'm just waiting. I'm making a motion to come out of oh. the winter control board. I'll second that. That was fun. Any more discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, minutes. March 3rd minutes. Make a motion to approve the minutes of March 3rd as may be amended. Dean, do you know who it was seconded by on line 43? Uh, there were a few there that I don't know. Um, probably look on BCAM. Hello, did somebody have a question for me? It's Margaret from the library. Uh, Margaret. We just 
I'm an eye on that, sorry. Good. Can you see us? Yes, I can see you all. Oh. Um, I need to get the minutes. Margaret. Hi. All right. Can I help you all? I don't really. How come she? I don't know. I don't. Did we uh, no. offer her anything? We weren't She's just on the meeting. Did you um, sign up or did we call you, Margaret? Um, I got a message that I needed to to link into your meeting so that um, to get the Zoom meeting started, and so I did. So. Oh. And then I had a message that someone had a question. Yeah, we discussed uh, the repaving of the parking lot, but I don't think we have anything for the library. If you want to do something more interesting. We're Sorry, can you say that again? I'm, I'm not getting great, uh, great audio. <laughs> What's that? Uh, we had a brief discussion about the repaving, resurfacing of the library in the town hall, but I don't think we have any specific questions, and there's really not much left on the agenda. If you had more interesting things to do. Home team because it's uh, it's not uh, three inches a lot. But you guys all have to talk, so what am I worried about? So I'll have um, I'll see if uh, Lynn can find out who's acting. I'm going to find out if you can verify the names that are here. Where there are the ones that are that are here, I don't know how to spell their name, so I'm just want to make sure that we get them right. Add that from the amendment. There are several. I mean, I just don't know how to spell some of the names. Or if they're correct spelling. So I just want to make sure that they get verified that they are the correct spelling throughout the document. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, meeting minutes of March. I make a motion to approve the minutes of March 5th as may be amended. I'll second that. The only comment I would make, which is not for tonight, but at some very future date, there's not consistency in the way names are used. Just ignore me, because um, that's for like a way later time, but put it out through that. Okay. 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 That's noted. Noted. But there's not consistency with the way names are used through the documents. 
from yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's for some way later date. We got to get through with some time of it. Yep, I agree. Um, Any more discussion? On the motion on nine eighty five. Okay, it's, it's stated properly. I just had to read through it with the strikeout. What was added? It's fine. Line 88 should be nor from Citizen and Show Up. All those in favor? Yeah. Yeah. Indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Make a motion to approve the minutes of March 9th, 2020, as may be amended. Second it. Louise, you are absent, so you'll abstain. Exactly. Um, You should put it on a work schedule. You want, you want to add that? I guess. Coming up with a economic development committee. Well, Carrie's comment was maybe having that on our work plan. work plan to look at a economic development committee that could um, come up with some recommendations to the select board. He said he would volunteer to be on it. Do we want to add that to the work plan? 
Right now, the economic development falls in whose hands? Ours. Select board? Or planning? private sector? Private sector. Planning is the regular, planning and zoning are the regulatory bodies, depending on where people want to develop mm -hmm. economically, based on the land use regs. Wow, I just went through 80%. Bring the wireless charger. Uh, you can put a work plan. Work plan? Yeah. Late, later in the year? Yeah. I suggest that we want. Oh, we'll discuss the need and the, do you want to create one? Okay. And to look at the, uh, take the time to look at the, the economic development strategy that's in the town plan. Chapter 119. When when do you want to visit that? When August? Okay, I'll drive. <laughs> All right. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Uh, aye. aye. You abstained. <laughs> <laughs> I did, just a shot here with a comment about the month I don't know if you can buy there since that or not, but I, I was posted there and I went up by there. And then outside the parking lot, the radio broadcast. Nice day. That was on Saturday. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful day. We only had something to do with the 84 cars to park either on or on Pile Road or Teddy Park. 84 cars. That's a problem. Good idea. That is parking lot was full. There's no gate. Yeah, there's no gate in there. So everybody's parked up past the little. House or kiosk, yeah. There's more, there's more than that. I just want to buy the one that we have all the building out here. So, wow, if we towed, that'd be some revenue generated. Yeah, pick it up at the flea market. Make a motion to approve minutes of March 16th as may be amended. 2020. I'll second that. I do like that. Thank you. When is our next meeting? When is our next meeting? Uh, I'll just have to, I know we uh, accepted, we exempted the, the select board, but we only did this in total of us. In the minutes of March 16th, we suspended the meeting of all committees, boards, and commissions except those that are sexually obligated to the select board until April 6th. So we we'll need a motion tonight to continue our meeting. No, we were exempted. But we would need a motion if we wanted to keep them in suspension. 
past April 6th. Okay. And I think a lot of people do want to do new ones if possible to meet and you know, at least talk about Try to become, try to do that. So, do you want to extend this till April 13th for all committees until we can meet again? And talk about, and talk about how it. We're going that to allow that. virtual meetings. Yeah. Because that would be planning, zoning meetings. That'd be all, all, all committees, commissions, and boards. I think the library board and the library, they're independent of us, statutorily. Uh, and we can do that after this. Yes, I think we need to. That, that's a great catch. Uh, and I had a thought for our next meeting on that. Okay. And that, that was a great sigh. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, she picked up my sigh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, as the agenda itself, uh, just I think a comma on line 106 after March 18 instead of the letter M. They're right next to each other. Oh. All those in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 Okay, so. I'll make a motion to suspend them, to extend the suspension of the meetings of all committees, boards, and commissions, except those that are statutorily, statutorily obligated, obligated and the select board, board. April 14th. until April 14th, 2020. Uh, second. Any more discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, so we'll get that on the agenda for April 13th, Dean. Also for select board updates, Dean, can you send me just a draft of the notice you're gonna put on town hall to close it tomorrow? Maybe I could just edit it or give it a go ahead. People are okay with that. Yes. Okay, great. Um, this is another person. Um, uh, I spoke with the food chef and with the senior center about food availability, and they're still working on it. I know that's a huge, amazing thing. I know. Uh, I did want to pick that up, Louise, too. Maybe April 13th meeting, we can have that as a formal agenda item. I wanted to see if the select board was just, you know, formally take that up. It must be. <laughs> Yeah, leveraging food shelf's efforts and outreach. Any other updates? Can I just ask a question? This is Margaret again. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but um, is town hall closing tomorrow? Is that what I heard? Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, to the general, general public, public, open by appointment. Okay. I'm on. All right. Thank you. I just, because we're trying to decide what to do with the library as well. So it's good to get that information from you all, too. Yeah, we'll have a, 
We'll have a um, sign on the door that instructs people to call the town office to get gotcha. in touch with the person that they want to see. Okay. And then be let in by permission only if it meets the bar. Like dog licenses, no. Title searches, yes. Gotcha. Um, and that would be up to the discretion of the employees that they're speaking to. But the employees are still allowed to be at work. Uh, the employees are the select board also authorized uh, deemed to have tech group set up uh, remote access to the server. Okay. So uh, Daryl, Daniel, and Dean from certain amounts of times, it will be, and that should be on a note, you know, how to reach them remotely, okay. whether it's their cell phones or their emails. Um, so that people will be able to still access planning and zoning. Most of the forms are online. Gotcha. Okay. Thanks so much. Yep. Stay and then Mary on. and Christina at the very least are alternating, um, being here at the same time. Gotcha. Okay. That sounds like a good plan. Thank you. Yep. And my, my only answer is, are, are we, make sure, we need to make sure we're doing enough to support all of our employees. And that, you know, like if you're going to work from home, uh, access some uh, online courses or whatever. Just that's the question. Are we doing enough? I think we are, but yeah, there you go. Got it. I'm wondering if the possibility is, is to have. Um, and be able to, for anyone, any of us to be able to access uh, our phone mail rather than either people call us at home, they can leave a message here and they can just check messages. If that's a possibility, let's let's check it out. I know at work we have all forwarding, okay. um, but they're pretty new. We just got the phones like six months ago and it transcribes and sends voicemail to email and, yeah. and it's really a slick system. I wanted to update you. Uh, first of all, the, as you know, the Perry Club and the town supervisor, Mrs. Moore, wanted to ask you if you wanted any. Uh, he wanted to talk about potentially to try to buy like Champlain and the situation to reopen it. I have no interest in that. Is this a very important point? To me, that is one more vector of community spread. And I am not pressuring a private company to do anything, but I think it's a good thing that it's not operating right now. Okay. Uh, Steve Williams wanted to let you know he will be working on I guess he has been receiving some calls about his uh, Another possible uh, 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 What was it? Uh, he's, open, he's opening the Thompson's Point. That's which is what he normally does at this time every year. Yeah. And there are people that are still interested in coming. So, oh, man, are there some places, including this, where we get to kind of limit Airbnbs and that kind of thing? But, you know, he said, I mean, who knows? People are doing their camps often. They they are part of some Normally, it's quite a loose They're able to the but more for sure, it's he's he thinks May first is is approximately for North Shore Road. Those are all, yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's obviously, you noticed going up that front of the road and possibly not maintaining separate separation. I don't know if we're going to have all the play other than it's an alert for us. 
Walking? Yeah. Maybe. Up yeah. State Park? Up State Park, yeah. I mean, there. I forgot the name of that road. It was named a few years ago. We donated the land. What's the name? Do we have a role in that one? Nice. What? I just wanted to bring it to your attention. Someone asked me to bring it to somebody's attention. Then. I... Yeah, I mean, the state park's officially not open yet, right? I don't believe so because the park is not taking money. Yeah, I thought Memorial Days or a little before. Yeah. And there's no six feet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if we have a role to play in that, but. I mean, there is a community vigilance. I, I do it at work. Just no one's in the habit of staying six feet apart. Yeah. Um, so I just, when I see it, I call and say, hey, listen, you know. Six feet is what we're supposed to be doing right now. I mean, it can't always happen, but I mean, you try. Yeah, yeah, in the grocery store, people like in let each other go around. And, you know, I mean, six feet, and when you're in an aisle, it's, it's going to be difficult. You know, they turn around you. <laughs> I what, what do you do? I think, I think what you do is you take care of everyone around you. Um, that's all I know, that's all I believe in. And so, yeah. And you thank everybody at the grocery store for showing up and being there. Well, it's a hard thing, too, because both people that are getting too close have the option. Yeah. You can, if, if somebody's walking too close to you, you move over. Well, here's a request for me. If you have any extra items or whatever, you got it. He's making a, a dash. And hey, Matt, you know I'm so I do. Just, nothing other than a little, little kind of uh, mental vibe. Thank you. No way. Hey, let this woman right now. <laughs> Care. Um, the Blue Plain Trail, trail stop of Blue Plain, <clears throat> Greg Velda area. That whole thing is going to need to be discussed and reworked and come to a nice. Do a site visit. Do a site visit. Yeah, well, I think that was not the plan to try to do a site visit. Well, yeah, I just need to. I, was it on the. Get out there. I don't know if it's on the work plan, but we can do that in May. Yeah. Especially with the weather here. But it is going to need some signage. Signage will be like one of the key things. So. Yeah. So I just want to ask um, the citizen offer, I guess, free space and an announcement of any kind of that they, you know. Town have. hall's close. I guess I could do that. Too. Um, but, you know, anything just to the town. Uh, Never look a gift horse in the mouth. Might as well use it. Um, gonna send that out. Yeah. I like those daily Stressing it. Glad. Like, town hall's closed. I can write that. Yeah. Freaking out. Okay. Uh, oh, that was the update. That was it. Yeah. I guess I, I just wanted to check if I heard right. Was there a motion? And I didn't check it. Um, as far as changing when they're not here. The expectation is they're still working and still getting paid. Yes, and that's exactly what I said earlier today when I was with you guys. Um, Dean, yes. just um, have them do um, whatever work they can do and then go online courses and um, you know really up their game. Yeah, and, that, and kind of the messaging at work for me is people who are working, this is kind of a very fortunate thing to be able to do. There's a lot of people that are not being allowed to work by gubernatorial order. And then economics, there's a whole nother slew of people that are out of work right now. So, you know, people who have jobs would be great if they 
everybody. And they have projects, you know, if there's lower foot traffic demands, if they have projects that they want to take up, this would be a great time to pick them up, either on the professional development side or picking up a project that's been mothballed. True, there's still a lot of uh, digitization that needs to go on. Uh, digitization of the, of the document. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it doesn't have to be done here, but I mean, it could yeah. be done here. Yeah. It's, it's, where if the town hall isn't open, there'd be, you could go, that'd be a project that could be done here by themselves to digitize a lot of our documents. Right. Hey, Frank, that's, Frank, that's a great idea. Don't be so kind, Louise. Well, I'm not really kind. I just work <laughs> at it. Okay. Almost. <laughs> it was interrupted. Oh, really? I'm to do Whoa, wait, 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 wait. It's not your thing yet. <laughs> Julia's in her house. <laughs> oh, Lord. I, 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 just, I was totally, I was uh, unbelievably stressed. I managed to get on Anyway, okay. Love you guys. Oh, Have a good night. Uh, is there a second for that motion? Second. <laughs> hey, we're going to keep by saying aye. 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 Julianne, we have to talk about the rules of the Thank you. Aye. That was great. Have a good night. What did we do? Just get off. Yeah, there's a meeting. On the right hand side on the bottom.